Okay, so uh, the other day we painted a little bit on Gandalf here and figured out what we were going to do uh, for other or other colors, thinning them out and everything else. Uh, so we're going to show you what I've got so far, and uh, then we're going to go on to uh, more painting on a different video. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom her up in. We're going to zoom all the way in. Bam, way up in there, way up in Gandalf. We're going to tilt him back and we're going to focus him in maybe. There we go. Okay, so for the most part, all that we have gotten accomplished here so far, let's grab a paintbrush so I can show you. So we did the sheath and like I said that uh, not getting that actually uh, uh, that speckle on there actually helped it out a little bit I think personally so uh, I don't know how well that's coming through on the video but it kind of gives it a, a lighter edge here of and a fabric-y, well, leathery kind of look to it. And so that looks pretty good. Apparently I did not do a real great job on the uh, cleanup. There's, there's a little tag sitting there that's driving me nuts. Oh well. <laughs> and then we did a uh, I thinned out some of that uh, endurance brown for the uh, boots here which are probably pretty hard to see. I thinned that down with the acrylic medium and gave his boots so that they would be a slightly different color than his leather belt and pouch here. They also, that was just an endurance by itself. And uh, they, um, they turned out pretty well and like I said it's kind of hard to for you guys to see it with my video but maybe you can so there is a and uh, that's just basically one coat and just selective darkening of a little bit more selective uh, deepening of the colors so I you know maybe a little deeper right here I put a little bit more dark a little bit there along the edge here and you know back in here I added a little bit more and along the edge here I added just a little bit more just to kind of give it a little bit more contrast in between you know in the darker recesses so but the scabbard and the shoes were one coat each and they both look pretty good um, we also did the staff and the staff was a uh, beast, a oh, wild beast, and uh, it looks pretty sharp. I, I like it. It's it's a lighter one than uh, War Color Gandalf, but I still think it uh, turned out pretty well. I did put uh, one and a partial coat on it. I put basically the second coat on it because I feel like I got too much on one side and not enough on the other side, so it was kind of <laughs> darker on one side than it was the other so I had to kind of go oh, okay we'll put a little bit more here and I also went ahead and added a little bit more of that beast brown or wild beast in um, the wood grainy areas to darken that up so that they would look nice and sharp let's see if we can't whoop, whoop, there. there we go let's see if we can't tighten that up just a little bit more so you can get a better look at her, get it in the light, and uh, I do have a I M G U R whatever, however you pronounce that. Somebody in the comments, please. I could probably look it up, but I'm really you know lazy about it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, I'm probably gonna put some pictures of it on there and they'll be a little bit closer up with my phone and you'll be able to kind of see it a little bit better on that maybe or maybe I'm doing a good enough job 
And then the last color we put on was his hand, well, his skin color in general. So what we did is we put the uh, human flesh down on, on it all, on his face and on his hands. And then we came back after that dried and to me, that turned out pretty good. It's kind of hard to get a good uh, look at uh, the color, so I'm going to try to use my, or you know, up underneath this hat to get a good look at it. So I'm going to, you know, try to get my light in here. There you go from my phone, and so that helps out, you know, so you guys can see it a little bit better. So, and then I went with the Phoenix egg on. Um, the highlights so you know uh, it, especially with this light you can see that his nose is a little brighter and his cheeks are a little brighter and you know the knuckles on his hand are a little bit brighter and so that answers that question yes you can go with a lighter color and I've heard that Phoenix egg is one of the hardest colors in the set to actually get off so I mean to show up and so that showed up fairly well over a darker flash color so I would say that is debunked so it turned out pretty good here so what we're gonna do and I I don't really paint eyes I saw a youtuber he talked about this and he said that he stopped painting eyes and he said that the reason why he stopped painting eyes is because if you think about it and you're if you were on thinking about scale and you're looking at somebody you know what is the scale you know when you're uh, down you know on its little pedestal here what scale is that to you um, when and in real life, so what is that like? A hundred yards. Somebody's about that size. At a hundred yards, you're not seeing the whites of their eyes or anything of their eyes, and that totally made sense with me. And I said, you know what? Why waste time on that? Especially on something so small as this, where most people aren't going to notice it. And uh, I like the idea of go ahead and making it just the shade of it a little darker you know to help emphasize the shade of the eyes so I might go ahead and get a different darker color uh, skin color even though even of the uh, human flesh and uh, go ahead and put it in his just his eye sockets a little bit just to darken that up just a tad bit to uh, help that out I have done eyes on different things and with varied uh, quality so <laughs> We're not, we're not going to go there. And hopefully this time I can remember to shake my paints before you guys uh, <laughs> get to listen to me. So you guys aren't, you know, before I get the other video recording. So then you don't have to listen to me shake, 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 shake. And we can get just directly into the painting and start painting. Um, so that's that. So far, I'm, you know taking my time a little bit more than I probably should you know this is supposed to be fast and everything else and it is considerably faster than the, nor the normal way I paint as is plus I've got you guys yeah you watching me and uh, you guys uh, tend to make me take a little bit more time I'm trying to get it so you guys can actually watch me paint so we're you know doing a little experiment it's actually probably taking me a lot longer than normally would if I was just sitting here doing it myself and listening to some jams so you guys are eating up my uh, hobby time and I'm not real happy with you guys <laughs> no but uh, it's all fun so we're gonna keep going here I'm gonna switch it over to get ready to start painting get everything focused in for that and we'll get on to that other video thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time